Herbert Moon is the owner of the general store in the town of Armadillo in Chola Springs, New Austin. He has a brother named Francis Moon, who is resting in Coots Chapel Cemetery. Herbert Moon is notable for his constant and unbashed anti-Semitic rhetoric, often greeting his customers by asserting that nothing in his shop is Jewish made. Howdy, Fred. You won't find anything Jewish made in this establishment, sir. How he considers everything he says to be perfectly correct. That John Marston used to be a hired killer for the Jews, you know and his over-the-top sense of pride and confidence, made evident by the way he says his name almost every time he talks to someone. To people like me, Herbert Moon! Absolutely. No! Oh, no, no! no. This is reflective of prevailing anti-Semitic attitudes consistent among Americans during the time period. Herbert Moon can be heard accusing the Jews of various nefarious plots and influences, like controlling various companies and agencies. Jews killed Lincoln. That's why there is a triangle on the money. And they run Europe like one of them Arabian harems. Now they've sent this here plague to kill all us decent folk. Yep. You, sir? are truly a remarkable fella. Thank you kindly. As the owner of the general store, Herbert Moon will sometimes appeal to John to help him intervene after being robbed by an outlaw. Herbert Moon can be found working behind the counter in his shop or playing poker in the back room at the saloon in Armadillo. Around nighttime, when he's not playing poker, he can often be found drinking in front of his shop. In the events of Undead Nightmare, during the Survivor Mission Dinner for Two, John walks into the general store and asks Moon if he has seen Jonah or Eli. Seen a couple deputies nearby? Marshall's boys. Jonah and Eli? Are they Jews, mister? They sound like Jews. I don't know. Why? Why? <laughs> this whole thing is nothing but a Jewish plot. You do know that, don't you? I find that highly unlikely, amigo. Well, I don't like Jews. Or colored folk. Or natives, now that you mention it. Well, you're a nice, kind-hearted man to meet in a time of trouble kind does not come into it. Why? What are you talking about? Why? <laughs> I bet you like Catholics. I can't stand them neither. Nor women. Fabians, socialists, homosexuals, Asians, or British. Between them, they've ruined this country. Ruined it. It was a good country once. Now people are eating each other, and it's all the fault of the Jewish, British, Catholic, homosexual elite and their ideas. Well, I, for one, won't stand for it. Have you ever met a Jewish person? <laughs> Thankfully not. Or a British Catholic homosexual? Not in my store. Oh, I, I get it. I see you acting clever. Well, let me tell you this. The Jews killed Lincoln. That's why there is a triangle on the money. And they run Europe like one of them Arabian harems. Now they've sent this here plague to kill all us decent folk. Yep. You, sir, are truly a remarkable fella. Thank you kindly. I must say, it's a rare pleasure to meet someone with such a grasp on human history. You take care of yourself. I'd hate to see you get savaged by someone and watch the life force drain from your hate-filled body. <sighs> hey, hold on there. Why don't you join me in my fight, sir? It's not too late. I fear it is for me. Then I will fight them alone. All of them. America is the land of the free. And that means free to people like me, Herbert Moon. Absolutely. No! Oh, no, no! no. This is everything we know about the character of Herbert Moon in Red Dead Redemption. Thank you for watching.